This is amazing. Introducing GPT Store. This is the latest blog post from OpenAI about GPT Store, ChatGPT for Enterprise, and much more. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about GPT Store. I'm going to break down every single thing which is going to get released. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so that it can help others. Coming to GPT Store, the GPT Store will look like this. So you can search for public GPTs. You'll have top picks, GPTs categorized by what it can do like programming, education, productivity, lifestyle. Then you'll have featured GPTs and then trending GPTs. So in the blog post, it explains about what will be there in the GPT store interface. As we have seen in the image, we can expect what's trending in the store, new featured GPTs every week. And we have some examples here, like old trails, consensus, code tutor from Khan Academy, and much more. So if you want your GPT to include it in the store, you need to make sure that the GPT is public and you need to verify your builder profile. So this is how you make your GPT public. Click the explore GPTs. It will bring you to chat.openai.com slash GPTs folder. There you can see all the GPTs which you have created. I've already covered in detail how to create GPT, how to OAuth a GPT with actions, how to write a custom function for your GPT, how to add knowledge to your GPT, in completely different videos, which I will link those in the description below. Now I'm going to show you how you can make your GPT public. As soon as you click the save button, there you can see three options. Only me, anyone with the link and everyone. You should make sure you click everyone to make your GPT public and then you can confirm that. Now you can view your GPT. Here you can see my GPT is public now. You can verify that by going to slash GPTs. There you can see that code only everyone and it is public. So if you want your GPT to be available in GPT store, make sure it's public. That is the first thing you want to make sure. Secondly, you want to make sure you verify your builder profile. So to do that, click on your name after logging into chat GPT and click settings and beta. Once after you do that, click the builder profile. There you will see name and website. Make sure both are enabled. If you want to add your website, click the icon and then say verify new domain. As soon as you say verify new domain, then you can add a domain name. For example, present.com and click submit. And then you will get the verification. So just copy this, go to your domain provider, and then you make sure you click the DNS button. There you can add a new record. There you're gonna choose the text record. In the place of name, make sure you type at, and as a value, you're going to paste the value you just copied from ChatGPT. Once after you do that, click the save button. This might vary based on your domain name provider, but the concept is the same. Now it's updating the DNS record. Next, you can go back to your chat GPT and then click the check button. Now you can see your domain name, present.com has been successfully verified and then I can click done. Then I can choose if I want to use present.com or mer.vin domain name, whatever I prefer. And then click the save button. That's it. Now we have completed the two steps required to make sure your GPT is available in the GPT store. Builders can earn based on the GPT usage. And next they have introduced team and enterprise customers can manage GPTs. So in chat GPT for enterprise, you can have your own GPT within your company and all the data analysis, everything will remain within your company. And the key things are you'll have unlimited high speed access to GPT-4, DALI, browsing, advanced data analysis. Then you have expanded context window you can use your own company credentials to log into ChatGPT. They won't use your data to train the model and much more. The way you can upgrade your ChatGPT to ChatGPT Enterprise is by going to ChatGPT and there you can see the upgrade plan. Click on that. Then you will have two options. One is the plus options, which I'm currently in, and then you have the team option. So if you're a company, you can click this upgrade to team and then make sure all the team members are added to the list. So it'll be built annually and minimum of two users required to sign up for teams. That's it. Those are the main two updates for now. 
I'll be still posting videos about the new GPT store as soon as it comes. I will also do demo in that. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.